morning, Taurus. This is your love reading for November. Take what resonates from this reading and leave what doesn't. If you need more clarity, feel free to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarifiers. We may provide you with another message that resonates more with you. All right, Taurus, let's get into it. You have follow your dreams. Okay, Taurus, beautiful card. I think you're following your dreams at the moment. And you have transformation and change. Yeah, with this eclipse season, you may be going through some big changes at the moment. I think that's very obvious. All right, Taurus. So we're starting out pretty hot so far. You've got transformation and change and following your dreams. What is it that you're dreaming about, Taurus? What kind of situations are you dreaming about? Okay, you have body and soul. And you have birds of a feather. So I think that you're going to be spending a lot of time with people this month, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, you have a willing release. So yeah, along with change and transformation, there's always a time to release certain things from your life that are no longer relevant for you. You know, that just goes along with um, transforming and releasing things into the universe. Um, if, if that is the case, Taurus, if you are releasing things that no longer serve you into your life, um, Make sure to give those things gratitude for whatever they taught you, whatever they provided for you, and just let those things go if they no longer serve you. Yeah, just let those things go if they no longer serve a purpose in your life. Let's get one more. Okay, I'm going to move that over there. And we'll get two more oracles. Let's see what's going on with Taurus and love. What's going on with Taurus and love? But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like you're going to be surrounding yourself with maybe friends, with family. And maybe it's your children. Okay, relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Okay, yeah, so you might be, you might be pulling in people. Are, are you focused on a new relationship? Are you building a relationship? Hmm. But yeah, you're focused on relationships at this time. And grief, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay, so it may be that you lost something that was very dear to you during this time, Taurus. So I, I feel like that's that could be the reason why you're surrounding yourself. And that could be also the reason for the transformation and the change. Are you in grieving, Taurus? If this resonates with you, please uh, hit that like button. And down in the comment section, let me know that this resonated with you. Are you grieving losing a relationship? Are you grieving losing someone in your life? 
delve a little deeper in this. Okay. So yeah, we have the Four of Cups. And we have the Ace of Cups. Lots of cups so far. So I feel like you are... You could be very emotional at this time. You also have the Empress. And the Seven of Swords. You have the Five of Cups. We have more cups here. You have the Justice card. You have the Ten of Swords, and you have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so this is a complete life cycle. Well, th this is the end of a cycle, I should say. Now at the bottom of the deck, you have the Strength card. So I feel like you are very strong at this time, Taurus. I feel like you're using your strength. You are... You're trying to build yourself up, and maybe that's why you have to follow your dreams, transformation, and change. But yeah, let's dive into here. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling like... You're kind of stuck at the moment. Um... You feel like something was a missed opportunity. You feel like something that you thought was meant to be just didn't happen. Um, you're feeling very unfulfilled at the time, very sorrow. I, I feel a lot of sorrow in this card. It all. It, it almost makes me feel like the Five of Cups, where she's grieving over this loss. Now, you do have the, the Ace of Cups, Taurus. So I do feel like whatever it is you lost, there's something better. There's something better coming. There's something better waiting. There's a new beginning. There's something that's kind of in the works. See, because in this first row, okay, we have the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Empress, and the Ten of Swords with the Empress. Taurus, did you lose a child? Did you... Or maybe you had thoughts on getting pregnant and it just didn't happen. I think I'm, I'm feeling like you felt unfulfilled and you are in this empress energy. You're in this very mothering and very fertile energy. And now you're kind of grieving that either you lost the relationship that you thought was going to bear children or create a family, or you physically lost a child during this time. And now you are just grieving. You're heartbroken over this situation. You're the Ten of Swords. This is done and over with. You are just totally heartbroken in this. Wow. Whatever this is, Taurus, this is just this is just heart wrenching. Now, as we go down here to the other row. You have the Ace of Cups, 
the seven of swords, you have the justice. And it's ending with the ten of pentacles. So whatever this new beginning is, I feel like you're reserving yourself. You're not quite sure. You feel like this is going to be something that's going to be taken away from you again. You feel like this is something that you're not worthy of. Um, but you are. You are, Taurus. You have the Justice card. This is something that you are deserving of. This is your karma. This is the good things that you've done coming back to reward you. This is not a, you know, the, the universe doesn't want to break us down and tear us down into pieces. The, the universe and spirit is here to build us up, to give us our good rewards. And yeah, karma is actually something that you deserve. So if you've done good things in the past, those good things will be re rewarded to you. Of course, if you've done bad things in the past, of course, that karma comes around as well. But in this case, I feel like this is this is good karma. This is something that you are deserving of. This is your Ten of Pentacles. Now, we're going from the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. So, I mean, this is total defeat. This is done and over with. This is dead and gone. And we are coming around. We're coming full circle into Ten of Pentacles. So, this is your good health. This is your wealth. This is something very prosperous and beautiful. This is full contentment. This, this, is, this is very similar to the... The Ten of Cups, you know, this this is your happiness, your wealth, your prosperity. Um, this is also good health and um, this is a legacy. This may be an inheritance that you're receiving uh, due to this loss. Um, but, yeah, I, I feel like good things are coming to you, Taurus. Just hang in there. Just hang in there because I feel a lot of pain and loss in that first row. I feel a lot of pain and loss in that first row. So I, I just want you to hang in there. The good is coming. And if if you feel the need, Taurus, um, maybe you should speak to somebody about your loss or about your grieving. Um, maybe speak to a professional. At least talk to someone. Talk to someone who you can trust. Because I feel a lot of pain in that first row. Okay. Now let's clarify this a bit. Let's see what's coming from this. From the Four of Cups, we have the Four of Wands. So... You'll be coming out of this. You'll be coming out of this and you are going to be surrounded by your people. You are getting the support that you need. I feel that for you. This is going to lead to celebrations, to get-togethers. Maybe with Thanksgiving coming up, this is a very opportune moment to gather with friends. Okay, with the Empress, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So you're going from the Empress to the Nine of Pentacles. Now the Empress, she's very fertile. She's very beautiful. She is a mothering um, energy. She's also very abundant. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is very similar. The Nine of Pentacles is very self-sufficient. Uh, you could be solo at this time. This could be you being self-sufficient and independent at this time. You're no longer in that mothering energy. Uh, you are in that independent mode. But I still feel like you're very prosperous. 
you're, you're very independent. You're able to take care of yourself, Taurus. With the Five of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups again. So you have the Ace of Cups twice in this reading. So the Ace of Cups, there may be a new relationship coming. That there may be someone new to love. This may be someone who is coming in that you weren't expecting. I don't want to get your hopes up, um, but this could also be um, a child. This could also be a child coming into your life. Uh, we'll know for sure if we get the Six of Cups. That card represents children. With the Ten of Swords, we have the Chariot. So that's beautiful energy with the Ten of Swords. So I feel like you're moving on from these feelings. The, you're, you're moving on from feeling defeated. You're going through a mountain of change right now is what I want to say. You're going through changes that are kind of transforming your life, I feel. With the Ace of Cups, you have the Two of Swords. So, I feel like with the Two of Swords, this new person that's coming into your life. And now with two Ace of Cups in this reading, there may be two people. There may be two people coming into your life. And I feel like it's asking you to make a choice. This is asking you to make the hard decision. Um, something that you can't see the future on. But Spirit is asking you to trust and make the decision. With the Seven of Swords, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so yeah, this could definitely be someone coming in. This is definitely someone coming in. With the Knight of Cups. And he's very charming. She's very charming. She's, they're full of life. With the Justice card, you have the Temperance. So I feel like during this time, you are able to find a lot more balance. You're able to find your harmony. And as I'm looking at the Temperance, I'm really focused on the wings at the moment. So I feel like this is spirit letting you know that with this balance, you also have protection from spirit. You also have protection from your angels at this time. With the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, you cannot make this up. Now look. You are moving from the Ten of Swords, which is total heartbreak, total disappointment, total destruction of a situation, to the Ten of Pentacles, which is total prosperity, happiness, wealth, inheritance, legacy, to the Ten of Cups, which is your total happiness, this is, this is beautiful. This is beautiful energy. Beautiful energy, Taurus. Wow. I, I'm loving this reading. I'm loving this reading. Okay, let's get some Moonology cards. So we can end this reading. Let's see what the moons have.
Yeah, you had a lot of cups in this reading, so I feel like you're deep in with deep within your emotions right now, Taurus. But just know that it's going to get better. Good things are on the way. The first card out. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Yeah, so you have strength. You have strength. And maybe a Leo is going to come into your life and provide you with extra strength that you need. You also have surrender to the divine, full moon. And we're coming into a full moon. Um, and during full moons and new moons, especially with the power of the eclipses coming through in the month of November, uh, it's going to bring great change. It's going to be um, a time of purging and letting things go. And you also have full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. So we have the ram. Okay, yeah, so Taurus, I think that your, your month is going to start out pretty grim, but if you have patience and you work on yourself, work on um, focusing on your dreams and focusing on changes and transformation, it's all going to turn out for the good. You have a beautiful time in November. So if it starts out slow, grim, disappointing, hang in there because it's about to be beautiful. Okay, that's what I have for you, Taurus. If you resonate with this reading, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. And if I have them uploaded, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. They may give you other messages that may resonate as well. Um, and many blessings to you, Taurus. Love and light.